Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and welcome back to Saving Data in iOS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to integrate your app into the settings app, which will allow users to configure your app when they're outside of it. iOS gives us the ability to create preferences outside of our app that can be accessed within the settings app. From the settings app, you can set up pieces of information that will allow users to configure your app. For instance, in our battle map app, we allow users to manage iCloud from the settings by providing a switch that allow users to turn it on or off. When using the settings app, you're going to be using very, uh, some very simple user face elements. Also, you can only save very limited data types that are defined in a property list. To link your app into the settings app, you'll have to create a settings bundle. This bundle resides in the top level directory of your app bundle. The settings bundle contains a few files that, that you will use to display your preferences. The settings bundle also contains an icon that is used within the settings app. This icon is important so that your app is noticeable in the app listings. As I mentioned, setting bundles are organized by property lists, which means you'll be doing a lot of property list editing to get the proper settings display. Finally, when a user sets a preference, that preference is stored with, within an NS user defaults, making it easy to access and change if needed in both the app and the bundle. The options that you have for the user interface elements is pretty limited. You have a text field, a slider, a switch, multiple pages, and multi-values as well. The key thing to keep in mind is that you only want the most important properties of your app that your users can edit. You never want to have a property solely existing in the settings app, thus forcing your user to exit the app just to configure it. Let's see this in action. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to integrate your app with the settings app. And what this means is that users will be able to input data into the settings app and then have those settings be reflected in your own app. To get started, I have a sample app for us already made. I'm going to build and run this app. Here you can see it simply asks for a first name, last name, a mood, and an image. What our settings app will do will provide ways for the user to already enter a first name and last name as well as a mood. I'm going to stop this. And the way we integrate with the settings app is adding a settings bundle. So I'm going to click File, New, File. And then from here under Resources, I'm going to choose Settings Bundle, like so. And I'll just simply call this Settings, and we'll create this in our app. It's going to move this underneath App Settings. I'm going to expand our bundle, and you can see we have a root plist, and we also have a file for translation. I'm going to open up my plist, and you'll see we already have items populated for us. Let's see this in action. I'm going to build and run, and we're going right to the Settings app. So I'm going to select Home from the Hardware menu. And under Settings here, I'll tap that. And I'll scroll down and you'll see App Settings Demo. We'll click this and you'll see we have a name text field, we have an enabled text field, and we also have a slider. We don't necessarily want those, so we're going to delete those. I'm just going to select these one at a time and hit the delete button. And now I'm going to add a new value. You can see when I hit the plus sign, I have a bunch of values to choose from. The option I'm going to select is multi-value. This provides a list of options that the user can select. For the title, I'm going to call this mood. And for the identifier, I'm going to call this mood as well. You have the ability to assign values to your options. In this case, we're working with numbers. So we're going to set the va default value as zero. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And this time, I'm going to choose titles, like so. And this gives us an array. When I open the array, I'm going to add a new value to my array. And this is, you can see, item zero. Item zero, I'm going to put good. Then we're going to add another one. And this is going to be bad. And the third one is going to be meh, like so. I'm going to close out my array. I'll select this row and click the plus sign again. And now I'm going to select values. And these are the values that I can assign to my titles. I'm going to click the plus sign. And I'm going to make this be numbers. So the first one is 0. The next one will be 1, and the next one 
will be two, like so. Now that I have my first row done of my settings app, I'm now going to create another one. I'll select my row, right click and choose add row. This one I'm gonna have as a text field. I'm gonna expand this and you can see the type text field. We're gonna give this the name first name. And for the identifier, this will be first name, like so. I'll close this and we'll add another row. Again, I'll right click and add row. And again, we're choosing another text field and this will be last name. Okay, let's build and run. Now we're gonna go home and we're gonna open up our settings app. It's not catching up the changes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this and we'll try building and running again. And if worse comes to worse, we'll just simply reset the simulator. Here we have our app settings demo, and we have a mood. So you can see it's good. Let's just set this to meh. First name, we'll say Brian, and last name will be Mokley. And then we can get out of here, and if we come back to the settings app, you'll see that these are already populated with my default values. Awesome. Now, if I go back to home, question is, how do we access those values so that these will appear? Well, we use this by using standard user defaults. I'm gonna open up my view controller here, and you can see these are already saved for us. The stuff we're interested in is in view did load. To get our defaults, first I'm gonna create a variable called user defaults. And I'll open this up to give us some more space. And we're gonna call the on the object user defaults, we're gonna call the method standard user defaults, like so. Next, I wanna get my first name. Here I'm accessing my first name text field, and I'm simply gonna call user defaults, and we're gonna call object for key. And this is gonna be the first name, like so. And remember, we have to cast this to a string. I'm gonna do this for the same for my last name as well. Finally, we wanna get my mood. First, we access the mood segmented control, and then we access the selected segment index. And then from user defaults, instead of using object for key, I can do integer for key, like so. Now, when I build and run, my settings preferences are now populated in my app. That's it for this video tutorial, but as always, we'd like to leave with a challenge. In your challenge, I want you to create a settings app that will change the, color, the background color of your app. Give the user three options, red, right, and blue, and have the app update accordingly. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.